Hello and welcome to another update video about Loopring. Uh, I would like to do an updated TA on Loopring, had a few requests. And before we do that, we go and take a look at the last video from um, over a week ago on the 23rd of May. Um, this was when we had a bit of a pump. Yeah, we moved all the way up to 62, I think 65 cents. And um, yeah, let's take a look what I told you in that video and what then happened in the chart have a higher chance of actually breaking the downtrend because at the moment we haven't made a new high we haven't made a higher high compared to that one indicating we're actually still sort of in the downtrend i mean loopring is a volatile cryptocurrency you have the same situation we had here in the downtrend we had here in the downtrend we now have here in the downtrend and at the moment this is only, even though it looks impressive, at the moment, this is only a three wave move. Yeah, We have an A, B, C. You move up and an A, B, C. So at the moment, there is not yet um, an indicator that this will become a five wave move Yeah, or a, a bullish pattern, a bullish, bullish, um, yeah, a bullish wave. Because after any downtrend, Okay, don't want to make it too long, but yeah, um, the, the uptrend or the downtrend wasn't broken. I showed you those previous wave patterns, which looked very similar and which all then in the end moved further to the downside. And later in the video, I also highlighted that my expectation would be that we come down once more because, you know, we don't have a five wave move yet. And this is also what happens so if we go to the shorter time frame. Um, yeah, we did exactly this. So we moved all the way up here to previous resistance. As I said, we came all the way up actually to 67 cents, but then we did move down again. We could not hold this high level. We failed at resistance here when um, I made the last video and came down. However, we made low, uh, higher lows. Yeah, so indicating that we are having here a slightly upsloping um, yeah, channel maybe, or even some kind of a triangle pattern, which however is not bullish. Yeah, we need to break this previous swing high and better even this one at 84 cents. So first of all, we would need to get above 64 cents and stay there. And then we would need to break above the next one here at, uh, at 84 cents, you know, below that, the downward pressure is just still very much there. So I think this here is currently unfolding as a symmetrical triangle, typically trend continuation pattern out of which you would expect more likely than not to break to the downside. Um, of course, you know, you should always wait for a breakout, but the way this is currently unfolding here, um, we just don't see the bullishness currently in the chart yet. And as I said, this was a very much three wave move up and indicating that we could have already started here an impulsive move down, which would in the end lead to lower lows and um, overall, probably a lower price than we even had here on the 12th of May, which was actually at 31 cents. So at the moment, the, up, the downtrend isn't broken yet. Loopring, pretty much like the other cryptocurrencies in the same situation. It also reached here this area between the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6% FIP level between 44 cents and 84 cents. This is the area where most cryptocurrencies landed. And this is also the area where with the highest likelihood you would normally expect a turnaround. But because Loopring is so volatile, between these two FIP levels, you have a massive, a massive uh, price span. I mean, between 44 and 83 is quite huge. And we've seen obviously uh, Loopring already go all the way up to 391 at the all time high here. And now come down to pretty much the same price level where, <clears throat> where ADA is just showing how much more volatile also um, Loopring is. But Loopring, pretty much like the other cryptos, also here currently still in a higher level uh, or higher degree wave two after it made here a wave one all time high back in November. Uh, it then made an ABC, WXY, extended corrective pattern, and we are now in this Y wave. And um, yeah, I don't think this is complete yet. It could technically be complete. The reason is because we have made here a lower low compared to the wave A and also to the wave W. We've uh, come into these FIP levels, which are completely normal for a wave two. We're currently holding above the 88.7% FIP level, which is good, but we just don't have enough bullish signals yet that we could be optimistic that the overall downtrend is over. And to really complete or really to finish off the downtrend, really, I have to be honest with you, we would want to have confirmation above $1.36. This previous massive swing high, the wave X, uh, if we are below this, level there is still 
unfortunately downward pressure there yeah this is what we have to understand because we could technically until we break that above that level we could still be in the wave y but of course we can get some confirmation before that first confirmation would be above 64 cents then above here 84 85 cents and then we can also move above one dollar and four and then we can move above here this wave x which is at yeah one dollar 36 one dollar and 37 but at the moment because we are here in this consolidation pattern after a strong downtrend which you can also call a bearish pennant my view would be that we see one more lower low in line what i expect for most other cryptocurrencies looking at um the overall chart the overall chart looks actually pretty good you know we made a decent new all-time high in this bull run here or the last bull run in 21 compared to the first one in 2018 this is all good you know this is decent this shows the strength of loopring um and what would be kind of the target for the next all-time high we can take a look at that for that we take the fibonacci extensions we add it here to the high we go down to the low and maybe we drop even lower so let's go all the way down to 30 cents that would give us a target here for the next bull run for the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. That would be the minimum target for a wave three, which would ideally be the next wave. Yeah, if we make it above all time highs, this would be the next major target at $6.67. The minimum target, yeah, ideally we want to move even higher than that because the wave three target is at least, at least the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. And this is pretty much all the information actually you need to know here. Uh, maybe one more look on the four day chart because this is really what is meaningful for cryptocurrency, sort of the medium term view. And what can we see on the four day chart? So we still have a short signal on the ADX, confirms my view that we will come down lower again. The RSI, I can't see here a bullish divergence. So also this is still pointing to the downside. The only thing here that might play out is a bullish crossover on the MACD. But again, it is just one signal and it is still too weak. So this is, however, something to keep an eye on. Um, the weekly chart looks pretty similar, to be honest. Um, even here, as you can see, if I zoom in, a long signal was just prevented here on the ADX. That is also a pretty bearish signal. Um, oops, no need to... The RSI also still below 50 here and no um, bullish divergence or anything. So yeah, for now, you know, I'm still quite skeptical here and uh, well, skeptical. I think the overall downtrend isn't over yet. So primarily I still expect a lower low and that could even come down in my opinion to the previous low. That would be the minimum requirement, which was here at, we see it still on the weekly chart, which was at 31, 32 cents. If we drop below that, I think the next logical level would be this support here at around 18.5 cents. I think this would be in quite a bit of a, in a Bitcoin crash scenario, a very, very logical level where we could get to. And from here then, Loopring would have, have the next chance to turn around. But as I said, if it holds ideally in the yellow target area that you can see on the screen, then the downtrend could already be over because from a high level point of view, Loopring did what it needs to do to complete the overall correction could now move up at any point in time but to get confirmation for that i told you the key resistance levels we are still way below them and also the indicator signals the bullish indicator signals they are still too weak all right and that is my view here about Loopring at the moment hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye